thought I would um, talk to you about in this next little section is how do I try and get those big legs? Because those big legs help you to go fast. So my weekly training doesn't really change very much. The, what changes within the, the program is the amount of efforts that we do. Uh, but a typical week for me looks like this. I'm in the gym um, every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday morning for about three hours. And then we follow that up on the track in the afternoon for about three hours as well. Um, so they're what we call double days. On a Wednesday and a Saturday, we'll go out on the road bike or the mountain bike for a bit of recovery just to get over the, the last 48 hours of training that we've just had. And typically a Sunday is my day off the bike, which I definitely look forward to after a really heavy week. So in order to be fast, you first have to be powerful and then to be powerful, you have to be strong. So everything that we do is based around being strong. So we are always trying to build a foundation in strength. The reason why we have to be strong as sprinters is because that's how you transfer power to the bike. As you can see in this very unflattering picture of me, which is uh, as I'm coming out of the starting gate, the boys can actually put out about as much torque as a V8 supercar engine in the first pedal stroke of a start. It is an extremely intense uh, effort and we have to do this consistently. And so if we're not strong, then your body will start to break because it's impossible to be able to transfer power if you don't have the strength underneath you. So in order to achieve all those things, strength, power and speed, you have to periodize really smartly so that you can try and get the most out of your phases of training. So in the gym, a typical strength program for us will involve a lot of hypertrophy, which is when you're trying to uh, damage the muscle cells so that you can put muscle size on. We would do double leg lifts, things like double leg back squat, deadlift, leg press. We're trying to get our body all over strong and we usually do a high volume with low intensity. So by that, I mean lots of reps. On the bike, we're doing pretty basic efforts um, on and, and training on the bike and we're doing big gear work to try and transfer the strength that we're building in the gym onto the bike. But in this particular phase, this first phase of strength, the gym is obviously the priority. When we're switching over to power, the gym becomes maximal strength. So we're doing a lot less reps and looking to push as heavy a weight as we can. We start to introduce single leg lifts because we uh, obviously are applying force with one leg at a time when we're cycling. We use specific strengths with a special bike called an ergo, which you can set the bike to go to specific cadence. And then we will, as I said, increase the intensity and bring the volume back a bit. The bike starts to become more important in this space. Our gears will be just a little bit above or a little bit under our race gears and efforts start to become a little bit more specific. When we move into the speed, we are doing um, specific single leg arm lifts and specific efforts on the ergo and the intensity and the volume drops right out. Gym becomes the second priority and then on the bike, the bike becomes more important. Everything's done at race gear. Everything's very specific and we do a lot of overspeed work on the track with the motorbike. These are just some example programs that I can show you. I'm not going to go into too much detail here, but what you can see here is the level of detail planning that goes into writing a program. We don't just turn up on a day or in a week and just try and figure out what we're going to do. There's a very strategic plan behind everything that we do and we're trying to uh, get the most that we can physically and physiologically out of our bodies in each specific phase. Some of my personal best, just for some, some interest out there, the highest top speed that I've hit on the track is at 70 kilometers, 78 kilometers an hour. I can hit 100, 230 revs per minute uh, in a, in a uh, effort on rollers, which doesn't have much resistance. I can lift 110 kilograms in single leg back squat, 145 kilograms back squat, 140 kilograms deadliest, 100 kilograms single leg deadliest. Uh, just over half my own height in a box jump and my best ever um, body composition results were 69 kilos at 11.5% body fat, which is about 54 mils of some seven. So for those of you that are doing some of your um, 
your sports science subjects at school, you might have a little bit more of an idea of what those mean, but there's some pretty good numbers for an athlete of my size and weight.